Thank you for taking the time to join us for this brief demonstration of Dynamics AX 2009. Microsoft Dynamics AX is an adaptable business management solution with rich and powerful capabilities to help growing organizations streamline processes, reduce operational costs, manage compliance, and drive informed decision making across the organization. Microsoft Dynamics AX is providing a workflow engine to enable your business rules to be automated and controlled. I'd like to show you a small example of what this looks like in context of a business process. In this scenario, we're going to take a look at a typical situation within a growing organization. Nancy, the sales rep, is out in the field drumming up new business. She incurs expenses in the process of generating sales. We know that with legacy systems, it's difficult to give people access to the system to allow direct entry. This typically results in duplication of efforts when the field rep sends paperwork to someone else in the organization to be re-entered. This often leads to issues and interpretation issues in the data that is being entered in the system, making it difficult to enforce and monitor policies. So we're taking a look at Nancy's role center. Dynamics AX provides a complete module for expense management. The benefit of this module is the integration to the core business application so that expenses flow through to the general ledger. Expenses can also be recognized on a project and project accounting. Let's submit a new expense report for Nancy as she would do bi-weekly or per the needs of the company based off of their policy. Now this demo is not specifically about entering in an expense report. The demo really is about how the process can be automated and controlled with workflow. Let's select the type expense purpose. All of these selections can be configured to meet your specific requirements. Let's pick customer visit. So I can now see the expense transaction lines because we take a feed from the credit card company each night. This saves Nancy a lot of time because she doesn't have to type in her expense lines. She can simply select which line she needs to reconcile. Let's enter a line in manually. We'll select a hotel line as the category of expense. The reason is that we can configure policies based on the category of any field in the expense document. Notice the message at the top. This tells me that for this category of expense, I need to itemize the detail. Let's select a date for the transaction, and we'll enter in an amount of $700, and now we'll accept this line and go and enter in the itemization details. We can quickly key in the itemization details. I'll pick the date for this breakdown. I'm only entering in one line in this example, but a hotel stay could be split over a number of nights. I'll enter in the number of nights as one, and enter in the rate per night as $700. Notice the message at the top explaining that it is against company policy to spend more than $300 a night on a hotel. This is an example of how we can manage compliance to company policies. This allows the system to govern and enforce the policies that the business has implemented. In this example, we're going to let it go and just accept the line details. When I set up the policy, I can decide if I want to let it go as a warning or to enforce it to stop the user from doing something. Now let's submit the expense to workflow. Even though our hotel stay is over our company limit of $300, we're going to push it through anyway. This is the start of the workflow. The rules that are configured in the workflow will govern who actually approves it. Now this can be based on the organizational hierarchy, or it can also be based on specific customized levels. In this case, it will be routed to Nancy's manager. Let's change roles to Nancy's manager, Kevin. If we log on here, we can see Kevin's role center. Kevin has quick access to track the performance of his sales team with the KPIs that he has set up. We can see that he has his work list as well. This makes it possible for him not to have to be in the system. The system can prompt him if he needs to take action on anything. You can see as we browse the work list that there are a number of items here. For example, alerts and notifications from workflow or activities from CRM. I can perform a number of actions here from the list. I don't have to go to another menu. I can action it right from here.
Let's drill down into the details and have a look at this one. Here I can see the details of the expense. I can look at the attached documents, if there were any, and I can look at the line and details, such as the hotel expense line. In this case, I can see the hotel expense is high for one night. I can either approve it or I can return it. So let's return it and ask for some additional information. Now I'm sure you know what happens from here. Nancy's Role Center will pick up the workflow and we'll go back and forth. Now let's take a look at how workflow can help manage the status of documents throughout the system. Let's go back to the Role Center. We will select an existing workflow item and then look at the header in detail. We will see that I have a few actions available to me. I can click View History, for example. This gives me the ability to see where the transaction has been, who touched it, and where it is now. This is a great audit tool. Now that we understand how workflow can be used to control a transaction, let's spend a little time to understand how the workflow is managed in Dynamics AX. You're probably thinking, oh, I have to involve IT for this. Let's log into Dynamics AX client and take a look at the configuration. We've found that the ability to delegate tasks is essential to making the workflow usable. We know that people go on holidays and people get sick, so we've built in a feature so that workflow can be delegated to other people. This helps prevent the situation of people getting behind in their work because they're waiting for someone else's approval. We can drill into the options for a particular user, select delegates, and identify whomever it is that's responsible for this particular person. Now let's look at the workflow configuration. Dynamics AX provides out-of-the-box workflow templates that can be used to implement your rules via a simple configuration. You can see here the menu items to go into workflow configuration. You will see this across the entire application. For example, in the general ledger, all of the journals now include the ability to use workflow. The great thing about the configuration of the workflow is that you can have a different version of the workflow for different times of the year. For example, at certain times you might control a process one way and at other times a different way. You can then choose which version will be active. Let's modify this so we can see the setup quickly. You can see the numbers of steps. This one uh, example only has one particular step. Ah, a key benefit of the workflow is language support. In using the one configuration, I can enter the different translations as needed. Now I can choose how the workflow is triggered by conditions under which the step is activated. I can control where the step is assigned next with assignments. Now this could be to a group of users or it could be based on my organizational structure. This of course varies from workflow to workflow. For example, in expenses, the approval change is to the immediate manager based on the spending limits. However, for purchases, it could just be sent to the purchasing department for validation. We also know that if people haven't specified their delegation of the workflow, then it may sit on someone's desk. You can configure how you want to handle the escalation. This helps you avoid these situations where someone is all away or happens to be sick and business might be held up. You can also choose the type of notifications that you want to receive for each workflow. Now let's look at another setup while we're in expense management, policies. Throughout the application, there are places that we can set up and enforce our business rules or policies. You can see here that we can define as many policies as needed. In this case, you can see the condition editor showing that the expenses will be in violation if they are over $300. This is a simple tool that doesn't require IT involvement. You've seen in this demonstration a range of features that can help a growing business manage processes. Workflow enables the coordination and control of transactions between employees. Enabling policies helps company implement compliance to internal company's policies. 
Used in conjunction with a paper-heavy process such as expense management, this will enable the system to be a proactive tool in freeing employees to do more productive tasks. Thank you for viewing this brief demonstration on Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 workflow. For more information about Dynamics AX or any of the Microsoft applications, please contact Emerging Solutions.